By 2026, the Tesla Bot Gen 3 will no longer be a prototype with a skeletal frame like we have seen before. It will be here, in Tesla's factory area, performing tasks like sorting batteries, moving 30% faster, and smarter than anyone could expect. It won't just be able to fold clothes and cook, but also take care of the elderly without supervision. Recently, Elon Musk confirmed that by 2027, Tesla will mass produce over 500,000 Tesla bots and turn his promised plan into reality. You will be able to own and experience the robot for just $40 a day, $1,199 a month, and you could even earn more than $3,000 a month with Tesla Optimus. So how will this become a reality? Will your job be replaced by a Tesla bot? That's what we'll dive into in today's episode. Welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 5,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. Moreover, you can ring that bell to get the latest notification about the next episode. And really kind of the robot will kind of get to know you as well and know your preferences. You won't even have to say things because it'll just kind of understand you. While the race for humanoid robots is undoubtedly heating up, and for a long time it seemed that Tesla and their Optimus humanoid robot were clearly leading the way, there's not as much evidence of that anymore. In fact, this raises questions about Tesla's strategy for how to produce and integrate Optimus into daily life. Is there a better strategy than what Tesla has previously discussed and does it involve turning Optimus into a tool for the factory or a service for handling household tasks? You might still be thinking that Tesla's Optimus is definitely leading the charge, being the best humanoid robot available. However, as evidenced by figure AI and a range of humanoid robots from Chinese manufacturers, Tesla is now in the middle of a very large group of competitors rushing toward the humanoid robot finish line, or perhaps we should call it the starting line, since this could be a race worth trillions of dollars. Some of these robot models have already been in use for a significant period, which is putting pressure on Tesla to accelerate its research processes before bringing Tesla bot to the market. However, Elon Musk continually emphasizes that the company will begin by using Optimus in the factory before expanding its use outside. This seems to go against current trends, as it's almost similar to Tesla's previous plan with the Cybertruck waiting for most electric pickup trucks to hit the market before deciding to launch. Based on consumer psychology, when a new product is launched, it attracts a lot of curious and enthusiastic customers. However, after some time, people tend to shift to newer and better products, and then stick with those in the long run. Additionally, Tesla might actually have to spin off Optimus into a separate company to free it from some of the constraints Tesla is currently facing. Perhaps introducing these bots into homes first, or at least getting them into homes ahead of competitors, is the best strategy, and to do that. When we look at the latest iPhone features, they were supposedly available long before on Samsung and other Android devices. But Apple has done much better with them. Anyway, getting in early in a consumer-facing field offers a huge advantage in terms of the ecosystem. For example, if you use an iPhone, you're likely to buy a Mac, Apple Watch, or AirPods. The potential for robots in the home is similar, with integrated features in Tesla Optimus that could stimulate the Tesla ecosystem, such as using Tesla Home, Tesla EVs, Tesla Chargers. How would Tesla build the ecosystem? As seen in Tesla's videos and images introducing the Tesla Bot Gen 3 as a professional helper, these roles may seem obvious to humans but they are not easy for a typical robot to perform. As a smart helper, Tesla Bot Gen 3 can handle all of these tasks, cleaning, cooking, child care, and elderly care. Yes, the upcoming Gen 3 version promises significant changes and upgrades. Tesla has already demonstrated its ability to clean the kitchen, water plants, serve drinks, open trunks, bring groceries inside, and even check packages. With the latest version, Tesla Bot Gen 3 will be much smarter than Gen 2, with improved mobility and operational speed, showing that Tesla is the only company to have successfully brought multiple generations of humanoid robots into the real world. Emerging from an electric vehicle manufacturer, Tesla is gradually diving deeper into other goals. 
with its ecosystem, now including SpaceX technology, Starlink, Neuralink, electric vehicles, the Tesla app, and even X and Grok AI. So when a customer begins using Optimus, they will be interested in all the integrated technologies and continue using them, which inadvertently increases Tesla's value. As Elon Musk mentioned, the Tesla bot will be capable of performing various tasks based on real-world needs. By 2026, Tesla plans to produce hundreds of thousands of Tesla bots and begin selling them to a broader range of customers. Tesla certainly has the resources to prove that the production of Tesla bot can scale at an incredible speed. The Tesla bot has already demonstrated impressive interaction capabilities, including dancing, serving cocktails, and engaging in conversations with attendees. These abilities highlight the potential to replace human roles in customer service and hospitality. Industries that heavily rely on interaction, efficiency, and adaptability. They have achieved this level of interaction through advanced AI, enabling it to learn and quickly adapt to new situations. In hospitality and customer service, this adaptability can enhance the customer experience by providing personalized interactions. For example, the Tesla bot could gradually learn customer preferences and adjust its service to meet individual needs. Its efficiency and consistency far surpassing traditional human roles. How significant will Optimus be in shaping human life? The bronze-colored Tesla Optimus prototype we previously saw, posted by Kim's X account, suggests that color customization for Tesla Optimus is entirely possible. So far, it has continued to appear working alongside her next to a black Cybertruck. With a lowered center of gravity, while carrying a 12-pound camera stabilizer, it clearly demonstrates its ability to adapt to heavy lifting similarly to humans. To confidently achieve this capability, Tesla has focused on developing actuators while improving the hands, which reportedly took the most research time. The hands, originally with 22 degrees of freedom, are being upgraded to 25 degrees of freedom, granting Tesla Optimus abilities far beyond watering house plants, carrying bags, or pet care. Optimus can take on more demanding tasks such as filming and transporting objects without human assistance. You may not know this, but Tesla Bot's hands are considered the best in the industry, only slightly inferior to human hands. Just a little. This means that out of 100 tasks we can perform with our hands, Tesla Bot can handle around 90. It's unbelievable that we might finally be able to purchase it for just $20,000. Setting aside the technical aspects, let's talk about the design first. As we can all see, the new Optimus hands are nearly at the pinnacle of design. You can compare them directly in the video. The left side features the next generation hands, while the right still shows the older version. The older version still exposed some cables and actuators, while we were completely amazed to see that the new hand is almost fully enclosed. We mean nothing is exposed anymore. Even the fingers no longer reveal their joints as clearly as on the right. Yes, that's about the design. Looking at the new hand, we immediately thought about Optimus being capable of washing dishes or even doing laundry. Its new hands seem to have much better water resistance than the previous version. They almost look like they're covered by gloves, which could be the answer for customers who once doubted whether Optimus could handle water-related tasks. Moving on to the technical and functional aspects of the new hands, we've read and heard Elon Musk's claims. Being able to thread a needle, play the piano, or even perform more complex tasks. It sounds unbelievable, but after closely observing the new hands in the demo video, we now understand why Elon Musk is so confident. Specifically, as you can see, Tesla Bot demonstrates its ability to catch a tennis ball with its new hands. It catches the ball with incredible precision and holds it firmly once gripped. Clearly, this gives us the most realistic insight into the robot's new hands. Elon Musk admitted that Optimus was still being remotely controlled in Tesla's lab when playing basketball. But you have to understand, he emphasized that it was in real time. Remote control actually seems much harder than letting the bot do it autonomously. It's insane that the teleoperation system can respond fast enough to pull this off. Normally, remotely controlled robots experience signal lag. We mean there's usually a noticeable delay. However, as we've seen, Optimus reacts extremely quickly with minimal latency, 
and that's what stands out here. In this new hand design, Milan Kovach confirmed that all actuators are concentrated in the forearm, mimicking human tendons. The advantage of this design is that it makes the hands lighter and more flexible during operation. In our view, this isn't just a new hand. Optimus can now track randomly moving objects and demonstrate dexterity in capturing them, an impressive leap forward compared to just a few months ago. Milan Kovac also confirmed that the Tesla team still has some work to complete by the end of this year, particularly around integrating expanded tactile sensors that will cover a much larger surface area than the previous hands. According to him, the main challenge now is balancing the softness of the protective layer on the fingers and palms without compromising tactile sensitivity. With this latest update, we believe Tesla aims to highlight the dexterity of Optimus's hands as it positions the humanoid robot as a versatile assistant capable of performing nearly any task a human can do. Although Tesla has only introduced around 50 Optimus robots, the company may have already produced hundreds. Musk confirmed that integrating technology developed for Tesla's electric vehicles into Optimus has allowed the company to progress faster than usual. This means Tesla didn't have to build Optimus from scratch, but instead leveraged existing technology to accelerate toward its goal of producing thousands of units by 2026. How will Tesla Optimus make Mars exploration a reality? Elon Musk has officially confirmed the plan to launch Starship to Mars by the end of next year specifically in late 2026. This seems entirely reasonable, especially after the Dragon spacecraft successfully returned two stranded NASA astronauts from the ISS to Earth. Musk stated that Starship will depart for Mars at the end of next year, carrying Optimus. If these landings go well, human missions could begin as early as 2029, although 2031 is a more likely time frame. Optimus, the 5 feet 8 inch tall and 125 pound humanoid robot is designed to perform repetitive tasks, capable of lifting 44 pounds and moving flexibly thanks to its advanced sensor system. Tesla envisions that in the future, Optimus could take on critical tasks in hazardous areas or extreme environments such as outer space. This is information we have repeatedly emphasized over time, but it remains crucial because its design and capabilities will provide immense support for humanity. From household cleaning and healthcare assistance to becoming the workforce of a new era and making the Mars exploration plan a reality, Optimus is set to play a key role in shaping the future. Instead of smaller robots on the market that can only perform a limited number of daily tasks, Optimus has the advantage of being upgradable on Mars as long as its hardware remains functional. This is similar to what we've seen with Tesla electric vehicles where the hardware has been in place for years before the cars gained the ability to navigate city streets. Optimus's capabilities will also improve over time, even as its hardware ages. A fleet of Tesla Optimus robots could be deployed to assemble shelters and infrastructure before humans arrive, creating an ideal living environment. Optimus has already demonstrated high precision, with dexterous hands capable of skillfully handling tools and objects. On Mars, it could construct basic habitats, set up life support systems, and even process ice, recycle water, and assist in food production. These facilities will be crucial to ensuring that the first humans can settle comfortably, expand operations, and prepare for long-term human habitation. However, even humanoid robots face risks. Martian dust has long been a challenge for space exploration, clogging solar panels, damaging equipment, and causing malfunctions. In fact, in a previously revealed Tesla video, the next-generation Optimus hand was shown covered in what is believed to be high-grade silicone, offering dust and water resistance. This could be the final design implemented across all joints and components of Optimus, sealing it against the harsh Martian environment. Even the remote control capability, which has been debated since we witnessed Optimus performing complex tasks, is being applied, helping Tesla shorten mission training time before Optimus sets foot on Mars. The training duration for an astronaut before a flight depends on many factors, including prior experience, specific mission objectives, and the type of spacecraft used. However, the training process typically lasts between 1.5 to 3 years before their first flight. With the mission planned for late 2026, 
Tesla Optimus could be remotely controlled to carry out initial tasks and learn from them. Over time, it would repeatedly perform these tasks autonomously until completion, significantly reducing the time and effort required for mission execution. In our view, the initial deployment of Optimus in factories next year will not be aimed at generating profit, as that is not a significant focus at this early stage. The primary reason Tesla is testing Optimus in its factories is to train the robot to operate efficiently in such environments. They plan to collect data and teach Optimus how to perform various tasks in the factory and rugged terrain settings. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.